Hello everybody. Welcome back to how to build a 105 Thunder Chief. Without the drama. Oh yeah baby. Here we are coming to you live from the shop on a Sunday afternoon watching the Giants or the Minnesota get their whooping from the Cowboys. <laughs> Maybe. Alright, here's what we got going. I uh, uh, didn't get that other side cut out over there. I'm going to do that probably tonight. I got that one side all cut, cleaned up with uh, Dotco, and I actually took that whole thing and I scrubbed it. It had all the wax, it was real bad like that. I didn't want that collecting dirt like that B1 plug. So I took some Dawn dish soap and the scrub brush, took it outside of the water hose. Also, all that stuff cleaned up real nice. Now it's nice and clean, ain't sticky no more. And uh, I got a couple little things to do before we can pull apart. I got some news for you. You guys remember old sharp pencil? Well, guess what? He's gonna come to the shop! Yes, sir, next Tuesday he's driving up here and uh, we're gonna lay up a Thunder Chief. He wants to help me, he's all excited about this. So, that's the new plan. So I just gotta get that ready to uh, lay up a part by Tuesday. And I'm pretty much gonna be able to do it. All I gotta do is I gotta do one more thing. I gotta make a couple little molds off of this so I can make my recessed gear door hatches. Oh yeah, don't forget about them. And uh, let me show you guys how to do it for you guys that don't know. And uh, get that done today. And also, I'm going to get ready to mold this canopy. I had to stick it on that plug. Make sure I didn't build a warp on it or nothing, you know. You know how that fiberglass goes sometimes when you start gluing wood in there. But it came out all right. I'm going to start getting this ready to mold, okay? Bam, it's going to come up about yay high. That's going to be too cool, isn't it? I'm going to dodge that. Bam. That's too cool. But I'm going to get that ready to mold. And uh, I want you guys to think about this. I want you guys to think about something. Well, don't go saying nothing in the comments yet. But I want you guys to think about how you would put these part planes on here. How you would mold it. Okay? Don't forget about this lip on the bottom. That little radius down there. These little flanges. All that needs to be in there. It's got to be able to pull apart. See how that's fat? goes down to nothing. They're pretty much vertical. They were pretty much vertical. And uh, these sides here are rounded. I want you guys to think about what you'd use for parting play material and how you'd go about doing it. Now I know how I'm going to do it. So I don't want you guys to say nothing yet. I want to see but I want to get your guys' ideas too, but not until I'm ready to mold it up. I just want you guys to think about it for a couple of days. That's going to be... I've already been thinking about it. And I know how I'm going to do it. And uh, let's see if you guys can guess. Alright, that's one of them. Then we got... This one here, I had to check it so you make sure it's going to be alright. Make sure it's all going to work good. Sitting flat and it is. And forget about this. Okay. How are you going to mold that? Where are you going to put your parting planes? Don't forget about this flange on the bottom. That's got to be there. It's good to think about that. That's going to make some cool canopies right there. Our lip, that inside flange, don't forget about that. This inside lip right here, it's all got to be in there. This back, this front. Think about that for a couple days. All right. I'm going to 
get them, after I get these little parts molded, I'm going to start on them. Close my hatches and, uh, close my hatches and, uh, that canopy. Okay. Now I just got to mold this little part right here, alright? I gotta take and cut this ridge off where I was, my parting plane was. Turn it down there. There you go. See, there's just a little bit of crud right there. I don't want that to be in my mold. I want that scribe line there. I want that there, believe it or not. That parting plane line. I want that there. I want to be able to see it. So I don't want to do no body work, nothing crazy like that. I just want to take the ridge off. Okay, let's wax this spot up again. Wax it on. Am I gonna put a door on? Let's see. The drone shoot door. Nice coat of wax on there. Take some out of my jug and get this rag wet. I've seen him, see him doing this a lot on YouTube. And uh, Mark Associated Industry says you can just use a sponge. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
All right, bam, that was quick and easy, wasn't it? Now, the resin, I know what you're thinking. Man, you're going to put that clear resin on there and it's just going to all run off. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm going to use some of that. Some of this tooling resin Mark gave me to try. That stuff down there, remember that tool and resin? And uh, see how that stuff works. It's a little bit thicker than that white resin I've been using. And it sits for them little gear doors, so it'll be fine. I <laughs> don't need very much. kind of pricey man it would have cost it a lot to do that mold and it still ain't as good as that clear stuff it's like a hundred dollars a gallon even buying a quantity of it I think this is going to be thick enough to where I can just put one coat of this. And, uh, one coat of this. And then put my cloth and some resin on the bridge. Do you guys look at something else I did today? I cleaned up this shop. Or last night, look under the bench. Look at back there. Oh, yeah. Up here, all this. Remember that mess? Remember? Look at, remember that mess? Oh yeah, I got it all cleaned up. Got my new roll of cloth on there. On the rack. And they ain't got all kinds of room now. <laughs> I've been busy. Been busy. I know y'all think I just sit over here loafing all the time, but. Okay. Now, I just need to, I need a mold. Just a little bit bigger than my gear door. Because I need to lay up some extra parts plus my gear door mold. I'll mold it separate. You see. It's Ram truck season, and the 60-day handshake lives on. It's a product. 
Bam. That's all we gotta do. And just pop this like that. And then I'll be able to mold my gear doors. And I also need to mold a part that I'm gonna double face tape in my mold. That'll give it the molded or the recessed hatch. As soon as I'm going to let that tack up, as soon as that tacks up, I'm just going to put some cloth on it. I really doubt if I put two coats on mine. Yeah, probably wouldn't hurt. I just got to get these done and a couple parts laid up by Tuesday. And I'm going to try out the new polisher on my hatches. All three of them need polished. You know that one I got from Harbor Freight? Oh yeah, I've been checking it out. I think it's going to work pretty cool, to tell you the truth. I'm going to put this stuff in the fridge. I think it'll work. Go along. But there you guys go. That's where I'm at. That's what the plans are. Remember, I want you guys thinking how you'd mold that up. Come on, let's get them brains clicking. Quit molding. I'm going to let you look at this one more time. Oh, I've already got to show you this. This don't have to be in there. Okay, I just wanted to show you how it ended. It's got a nice little curve down there. Don't forget about these flanges. This lip, see how it goes from that fat to nothing, fat to nothing. That's got to be a nice crisp corner. How would you do that? You just got to think about that. This is going to be kind of, this one ain't too bad. It's time consuming. But think about that too. See? Now I can't just make one and take it off that way no more because of this. See, it won't let that go straight up no more. No, that's out the window like that other one. Uh-uh. That's out the window, Jack. So, got to think about that. And we'll be back in the coming future. Another episode of Bob TV. Oh, yeah. Same Bob time, same Bob station. This episode of Bob TV was broadcasted in Philovision. This is a drama free zone.